Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of the Daily Nature Journal. Now as you can probably hear, I'm back at the beach again. I came down to assess the effects of the storm because we've had some really quite strong weather in the UK, especially down here on the southwest. It started up on Friday and it's pretty much been going the whole weekend. We'll go for a little foraging walk up along the side and then under the cliffs a little bit because sometimes the storm throws up some cool stuff. So let's go, let's take a look. So this little corner is a nice spot. This is where I like to have my lunch on a beach day in the winter. All right, so first I want to show you this. This is the sea beet, also known as wild spinach. It's edible and it's actually really nice. Now I'll link an article in the description about this plant. Now I wouldn't pick it at this time of year. These leaves have been here all winter and they're just going to be a bit unpleasant. But when it starts coming up later in the spring with all these new leaves, it'll be a perfect time to start eating it. I reckon there's even more has come down of this cliff. The problem with it is it's so soft, so when it gets wet, it gets soft and pretty much just slides off the face of the cliff. So here's some of the stuff that's been flung up here by the storm. Plastic and bits of fishing line doesn't need to be on the beach. I always like to come if I'm doing a bit of foraging or um, beach combing, pick up anything that shouldn't be here. You get rewarded for your efforts because that's when you find all the cool stuff as well. Just found something else cool. This is a ball of whelk eggs, or should I say the cases of whelk eggs. Each one of these cases would have had loads of them in. And they're usually the common whelk. I like to call them whelk balls. And you get them more and more through spring on the beaches. And these are kind of early ones. Yeah. They're so light. Really feel the wind here. Kind of out of the shelter now. The tide's on its way out, you can really see these rocks properly. Covered with seaweeds, barnacles, limpets, and other kinds of life. Little whelks, sea snails. So I'm going to go back under the shelter of the cliff and sit and journal a while about what I've seen so far today. I've got a bag of stuff picked up off of the beach so I've done my good deed for the day. Have you ever got involved in a bit of beach cleaning? I'd love to hear about that in the comments today. So just writing today, let me read you what I've written. The sea is very full of sediment today. The beach is now very steeply shelved. Unfortunately for my solitude, it's half term week, so the beach is busy for a weekday Monday in February. Sitting in the sun is pleasant. Flies rise and fall from the sunny rock face around me. I've been clearing the beach of plastics while seeking interesting things to bring home to the studio. Pieces of shell, whelk balls, amid everything else that's been flung to the top of the beach by the weekend storm. The sea is such a thick colour, full of sand and mud from the rivers. It seems to roil despite the flatness of the lowering tide. It appears dense, rich and red-brown through my sunglasses that cancel the veneer with reflected blue. It carries its load, tossing in the shallows the gleanings from the cliffs. 
and the influx of the valley's floodplains, wildly sent to sea by the raging river and unable to settle harmlessly out. Perhaps it is this knowledge that enhances my sense of a saturated sea in the scoop of our bay. Nevertheless, I would not favour a swim today. So that's all from today's episode of the Daily Nature Journal. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And do check out my Patreon if you want to give me that little bit more support. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.